Welcome to Met Cancer, Metabolic, Not Genetic. I'm your host, Vincent Gledhill. Now, in today's video, Professor Thomas Seafried discusses timing for your hyperbaric oxygen visit. I give you Professor Thomas Seafried. Yeah, it's simply a quantitative gauge to let someone know whether, whether they really are in a, a, a ketotic state because you're, you're actually quantifying the level of millimolar level of ketone and millimolar level of glucose in the individual's blood at a given time. And I, Dom and I know that for hyperbaric oxygen as, a, 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 as another pulse, we like to have the, pa the patient in the hot, the, during the course of a day, it wax and wanes as, as your GKI, because we, we've done this in a number of people and you can get a different GKI in the morning than you can get in the late afternoon or vice versa. It can change during the course of a day. So we always tell people if they want to do hyperbaric oxygen along with their, uh, as part of the press pulse, they should, they should go into the chamber uh, at the time of the day when they have the lowest GKI, because that, that tells you now that you're going to put the maximum oxidative stress uh, on the tumor cells. And that has to be determined for each individual patient themselves. So patient has to say over a course of a week or two, you know, this is when I noticed that my GKI during the course of the the day is the lowest. So you schedule your, your hyperbaric oxygen during that time. Uh, you're going to get the maximum benefit if you understand your body and, and you understand the patient needs to understand, have to play a role in understanding some of their own physiology to maximize this therapeutic approach. Thanks for watching. You can find many of the professor's papers on our website, metcancer.com. And we have a completely free community forum at metcancer.com forward slash forum. Now do yourselves a favor and go and watch this video.